Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl Shantree and I am back with another video. I am so, so, so freaking excited to be back and filming a video for you guys. As you saw by the title, in today's video, I will be reviewing the new Pat McGrath Divine Blush Collection, okay? I am so excited. Before we get into that, I do wanna say, I know I've been MIA for a while. I haven't posted on my channel in a while. I have been going through a lot of things, okay? A lot has been going on in my life. There has been a lot of changes, okay? I will talk a little bit more about that in another video today. I did just want to focus on the Pat McGrath Labs blush collection, which we all have been waiting for forever, okay? Let's be honest. Now, before we get started in today's video, I do want to say this the video is in collaboration with Yachty Beauty, Dr. Ash and Her Makeup, and Beauty in the Frizz. They started this thing called Pat McGrath Week, where they're posting every day this week on their channel in honor of Mama Pat, Miss Pat McGrath's birthday, which is today, June 11th, the day that you're watching this video so i know i haven't posted in a while i had been waiting for this collection to come but i finally got it i just had to get in on the action i thought it was a great thing that they were doing and what better way to do it than to post on mama pat's birthday so i'm just so excited to do this to be reviewing this collection with you all i know it came out about a week or so ago but i did get it a little bit late but that doesn't matter we're celebrating mama pat and all of her beautiful products that she continues to wow us with every time okay before we get into this video make sure you head over to my instagram and follow me there at underscore sean Cherie to stay more connected with me seeing what i'm posting you know and just getting to know me overall a little bit better um i am going to go ahead and link the other three ladies channels down below in the description box since this is their baby that they came up with without further ado i know you all have been waiting for this review and i hope that i do it justice so if you want to see what products i got from the divine blush collection and then how i created this look right here say it with me everybody just keep on watching Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. I am so excited, okay? As you heard in the intro, today I'll be reviewing the Pat McGrath Labs Divine Blush Collection. For the collection, I went and picked up two of the blushes, which is in Love Struck and Divine Rose. Now, first of all, look at this packaging. It's so luxe. It has this purple lilac packaging with the roses on it the little gold trim and emblems on it looks great and then i did pick up the venus in floors Lux quad in voyeuristic vixen it has the same packaging but it is a little bit bigger than the blushes now as you can see i already have my base done i did use pat mcgrath products on my face i went ahead and used the skin fetish foundation as well as the concealer and then i also used the blur under eye setting powders everything that i used on my face will be listed down below in the description box now i do want to note i know my face <laughs> may be a little bit off from my body i did recently go on a little mini vacation so i do have like an intense tan so my colors aren't really matching me as good as they were before but that's okay that's not what this video is about i'm excited to jump into these products so first we're gonna go into the quad again this is the venus and fleurs Lux quad in voyeuristic vixen now i do want to say as i'm opening this up um the collection did come with nine blushes i only picked up two it came with this Lux quad as well as several lip products but i didn't get any of those either also i'm excited this is my first pat mcgrath quad so it has this nice black packaging as a lot of the quads do and this a gold Pat McGrath Labs emblem on it. And on the back, it has some information about the shadows as well as the name of the shadows on the back. So let's go ahead and open it. Wow, okay, it does have a mirror. Look at this. Oh, you can see, oh, you can see that shade just flourishing. Wow, okay, on camera it looks pink, but when I'm looking at it here, from here, it looks gold. This is absolutely beautiful. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch it. Oh, oh, so, oh, so buttery. Oh my God. 
Oh, oh my God, they're so nice and soft. I'm gonna swatch it going from here to here, from here to here. First we have Moonlight Liaison. <sighs> Look at that, wow. Okay, and then next we have Rose Fire Nectar. <sighs> oh my God, which is that nice shifty shade. You can see a little bit of the flip there. Then we have After Dusk, which is this nice brownish purple color. Oh my God. In person, this color is bomb. Like you can, it's not a slight shift. The shift is there. It goes from a nice pink to a gold. It's gorgeous. And then last we have Twilight Bronze right here. So, I know these might not be the best watches in the world, but here they are. These look gorgeous. Today I'm gonna go ahead and prime my eyes here with the Urban Decay Primer Potion. So first, I'm gonna go into the After Dust color here on a small pencil brush. I'm just gonna kinda create a nice shape that I want. I don't really know. Wow, look at that. I don't really know what I'm going for, I'm just, you know, YOLOing it. Only music in my car is just the AC. And I hate it when we start just like my six speed. Know you're clutching hands and feet like how I switch gears. Only difference is I'm silent, you hold back tears. To your hands face down, baby. It's not like the times that we shed. There's a tension in the air right now. Got your hands together, what you praying for? You know you do better with someone that's less unstable. Signs, signs, say we need a space. I try, try, beg the universe for grace. I know it looks a little rough, but we're gonna trust the process. Now, I just cannot wait any longer to get this color on my eyes, this Rose Fire Nectar. Wow, look at that. This is absolutely gorgeous. Oh my God. Wow. Wow. And the, you can see the flip really well. To my ego, heart is racing And your smile's looking weaker than my patience In the tremble of your words, I hear frustration But you know I hate myself for the same reason And I don't know if I said it earlier, but this quad did retail for $58 But when it first came out, it was on sale for 10% off on the Pat McGrath website And she's always having sales, so don't feel bad if you missed out on the initial launch and i'm going to go back into my pencil brush into this color here to kind of sculpt out that shape a little bit more Time 2016 when the sky was burning, we was talking about dreams and the future comes. Looking good. Now I'm gonna go into this color right here, Moonlight Liaison, and I'm gonna pop that into my tear duct area. Wow, gorgeous, perfect pop of color to brighten up the look a little bit. I am loving it. So now I'm gonna take a little bit of this color and add it to my lower lash line. So now I'm gonna go and finish up my eyes and then I'm gonna come back to get into what we all been waiting for, some blushes. Okay, I am back. This is how you're looking, very nice. Now I am going to 
go back into the palette, into the Twilight Bronze color here. And I'm just gonna add a little bit of that underneath my brow bone. Yes, perfect. Look at that. Perfect. Now let's go ahead and get into some blush. Now, I did hear about um, Pat McGrath saying that you should put these blushes on an unset face. I already went ahead and set my face with the under eye blurring powder from Pat McGrath. So they have the same packaging as the eyeshadow quad, except it has Pat McGrath Labs right now, as opposed to the quad that has the emblem. So, I am so, I, I want to say, I am so excited because for the last couple of Pat McGrath um, releases, I thought it was going to be blush. Everybody has been waiting for blush from Pat McGrath and me included, and she did not come to play, okay? She came out with nine shades. Some of them have the demi matte finish. I believe both of the ones that I got have the demi matte finish, and she also has one that has kind of a pearl finish. These do retail for $38, and I did get them at 10% off, and I did just wanna go ahead and get two at first just to see how I like them, and then if they did steal my heart, I may go ahead and pick up a few more, so. I did hear these were hard to open, but it wasn't too bad for me. So this one is the Divine Rose. Look at that, it's a nice mauve tone. And the embossing on here is top notch, okay? You have the rose with the little lines coming out. As you can see, I have on my rose shirt to go with the Pat McGrath theme, okay? And then the next one I got, again, a little bit hard to open. And I don't want to break a nail. Okay. This one is Love Struck. So this one is a little bit more pinky toned. This is the Divine Rose. And then this one is Love Struck. Now, I did see a lot of people kind of blending them, mixing them together, like different shades. And I feel like these two would go together. Love Struck being a deeper tone. And then blending it out with Divine Rose for a more blended look. So... I'm gonna go ahead and swatch them really quick. I almost don't wanna mess them up, but you know, gotta do what we gotta do. Ooh, they are very soft. So <laughs> I know these swatches aren't the best, but we have Love, Sh Love Struck on top and then Divine Rose right here. I'm gonna go ahead and go in with this blush brush from Eco Tools, and I'm gonna go in with Love Struck first. Whoa very pigmented and I'm going to start in the higher portions Ooh. very nice look at that so beautiful and just to you know get the blush color seen I am going to kind of build it up quite a bit do a little bit of draping with the blush I like blush anyway so this is right up my alley and then I'm just gonna blend it out a little bit very nice this will work on many different skin tones and it's just perfection look at that oh so pretty goes perfectly with this look it can probably go good with any type of look to be honest very nice and just to first show you how they look separately I'm gonna go in with divine rose on the other side by itself first before I kind of mix them this one seems like it's gonna take a little bit more building up very nice soft mauvey color oh very pretty it kind of has that dusky rose type coloring this one is giving a more mauvey purpley type color while this one is giving a little bit more pink this one is a little bit more pigmented and harsh not in a bad way but more pigmentation and this one is a little bit more soft and maybe everyday so what i'm going to do is go into divine um rose here and i'm just gonna put this kind of on my cheeks here and then kind of soften 
up the color love struck just to show you kind of how they look mixed in together look at that it's just giving it a perfect mix toning it down and then i'm just going to do the same thing on this side adding love struck to deepen it up i know i'm putting a lot for demonstrational purposes but it does still blend out really really well this is a more you know avant-garde editorial type of look you know i might not i will go out with a lot of blush you know but i probably won't go out every day with this amount of blush but you know i'm just trying to show you all how it looks and to me this looks beautiful i'm loving it when i dipped into the blushes the love struck did have a little bit more kick up i don't know if that's because it's a little bit more pigmented but as you can see they both still look fine uh, they blend out really well by themselves and they blend out really well together. I want to go into this Twilight Bronze color right here um, and add it as highlighter. The collection did come with a highlighter, which I didn't pick that up. And I feel like maybe I could use, you know, maybe this shade or if you're a little bit lighter, you can use this shade or you can maybe mix them both. So I'm just going to see how it looks as highlighter here see that okay very it's showing up really nice look at that Ooh. <laughs> I, what oh oh my god look at that oh man really nice absolutely beautiful this definitely can be used as a highlighter I'm glad I didn't get the highlighter actually. One, because it was very expensive. It looked beautiful with the reviews that I've seen. Don't get me wrong, but this is working perfectly fine as a highlighter shade. And it's perfect for eyeshadow too, as you can see. Look at that. What? I'm blinging. You see that? I'm blinging. Perfect. Okay, so let's go ahead and finish up the look with the lip. I'm going to go ahead and line my lips with this Makeup Revolution pencil in the color Rose. They're very fitting, right? Now, I didn't pick up any of the lippies that came in the launch, but I did um, a while back pick up this Oculus gloss set from Sephora. I feel like one of these glittery glosses will look great with this look. So, these are the three colors. Oops. These are the three colors here. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch them really quick. Wow, these are gorgeous. This is the first color in Lavendaring. It's like a very shifty color. It's showing up purple on camera, but it has like pinks and golds. Very pretty. Next we have Dreamscape. Wow, which is this very beautiful, you can barely see it, gold color here and then the last one which i think i'm gonna go with is naked rose right here <laughs> so we kind of have a purple a gold and here you go a nice pink one so i'm gonna put that on i feel like it would go really nice with this beautiful shifty shade on the lid wow Woo, this is nice very comfortable not sticky at all very nice wow look at that so this is the final look you all it came out absolutely oh look at that look at that highlight look at that blush look at these eyes it came out absolutely beautiful i am not disappointed by any means mama pat came out and slayed per usual a couple of things i want to say about the things i got from the collection this quad absolutely beautiful this quad can work on a multitude of skin tones it has this beautiful shifty shade here absolutely gorgeous these colors can be used for multiple things as you can see here i use this color as this beautiful highlight if you're a lighter skin tone you can use this or you can maybe mix these two 
absolutely beautiful stunning definitely worth it as you can see i went crazy on the blush the blush is beautiful definitely worth it um i know they have some trio some bundle deals you can get three of these for 96 dollars, which is definitely a steal i might go get three more for that trio bundle because they're just that good like look at that that's just Oh, flawless highly recommend she did not come to play per usual again this video is kind of in collaboration with some of my youtube friends here yadi beauty beauty in the fridge and dr ash and her makeup this video is to celebrate pat mcgrath's birthday which is the day the day you're watching this video june 11th happy birthday mama pat you did not come to play i hope i did your products justice they're absolutely beautiful just like you you all if you haven't tried anything from pat mcgrath definitely should try them they're definitely worth it pigmented and you will not be disappointed okay and if you don't want to go super expensive there's always a sale she has some cheaper products if you want to you know just get started so yeah thank you all so much for watching this video and thank you to Kara, dr ash and yadi for coming up with this idea of celebrating mama pat for her birthday week if you like this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up and comment down below let me know which product was your favorite if you got any of the blushes which one was your favorite or if you got any of the other products from the pat mcgrath collection let me know if i should pick them up too make sure you head over to my instagram at underscore sean Cherie to follow me there so you know stay overall more connected with me get to know me a little bit better all that good stuff it was just like riding a bike being back with you guys. I had such a great time. Again, thank you all so much for watching. My name is Sean Cherie, and I will see you in the next one.